This online poster celebrating the best moments of the 2024 Olympic Games left out all the Asians and people noticed. Yes, we. I guess I just put the people on the poster that I liked the most and it happened to not include very many Asiatics. But you want from me apologizing? Oh, <laughs> uh, listen, guys. This is going viral right now because Eurosport, Andrew, which is owned by Warner Brothers Discovery, put about 50 to 55 people on a poster celebrating the 2024 Paris Olympics. And they put two Asians, even though Asians won 25% of the gold medals and 28% of the total medals. Well, these were the greatest you know, moments in my mind, but guys... Let's talk about it because I don't want to be overly sensitive, but I don't want to be desensitized to this type of thing. So I do think it's noteworthy because multiple people sent us this and we're like, hey, hey guys, do you see this? Where's the Asians? I was like, yeah, I see one, maybe two Asians and that's about it. Andrew, they put Tom Cruise and Snoop Dogg on there before they put any Asian gold medalists. Right. So I guess, guys, we got to talk about it. So please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Um, again, uh, Here's my thing. Listen, it's European. Eurosport is based in Paris, okay? So maybe, you know, we don't relate to the way the Asiatics look or whatever. How can that account for 25% representation Dropping all the way down to 4%. Yeah, guys, and trust me, I understand that maybe Eurosport, not for better or for worse reasons, or whether it's justifiable or unjustifiable, they may have some political leanings to not put so much shine on, like, athletes from China or something like that. But actually, even if you took that into consideration, there's actually a lot of athletes of Asian descent that they did not include that they could have. Let me just name some off real quick. American gymnast Suni Lee. Okay, had a great moment. Japanese B-girl Ami, who won the gold. Canadian B-boy, who's Korean descent, Phil Wizard. and Also won the gold. Yeah, also won the gold. And at least the cute female Chinese silver medalist, Zhou Yachin, with the biting of the medal moment that was so endearing and fun and viral, and they couldn't even include it. Right, right, right. So point number one, let's take a look at this, Andrew. 73 golds between China, Japan, and Korea and not even one gold medalist. They got Kim Yeji on there, but because she had an iconic moment looking like John Wick along with the Turkish shooter. Right, look, okay, so let's be fair. They didn't completely leave Asians off. They gave us one. They gave us Kim Yeji. And there was a gold Pakistani javelin thrower. Uh, point number two, um, somebody said, maybe this was made by a white French guy, and these were the only moments that connected with him personally. And somebody else fired at Asians a little bit more harsh, Andrew, saying, Asians really ain't got any iconic personalities. They're just a bunch of, you know, nerdy incels, so quit whining about it. Mm. Basically saying that the Asians didn't have the iconic personalities that the Western athletes have. Right, so I guess this person's kind of make an excuse and saying like, well, there wasn't that many memorable Asians, so what are you guys complaining about? But was everybody on this picture memorable? You know, I, my whole thing is like this. Asians, if Asians would have got like 12% instead of 25% representation on the poster, I don't think they, they would make a big deal out of no, it. No, I, I think if there was just, honestly, and I'll, let me just put a number on there that I think would have been okay, I think three more Asians. Three more Asians, and I don't think we would have complained, but l giving us one, and like, yeah, you got the Pakistani javelin thrower, but you know, obviously on the East Asian side, that's like, right. uh, you know, it doesn't fully count as much as Yeji uh, can. So it's like, you didn't really give us much. By the way, theoretically, you could argue that up to 15 of the people should have been Asian. Uh, point number three, how come they even left off the diasporic Asians? Suni Lee, the American uh, ping pong team, right. our table tennis team was also Asian. So they left out anybody Asian, even if they were competing for other countries. Yeah, guys, listen, like I said before, I don't think it's justified, but if you're trying to, because obviously this is Eurosport, it's a Euro, what, magazine, whatever, like they can do what they want, right? So like, yeah. That, if, that was the Olympics through my if, own If they're eyes. like, you know, the Olympic uh, Chinese swimmers was a little bit too controversial, so we don't want to put them on. So I was like, okay, first of all, whatever, fine. Let's say you cancel all the Chinese athletes for not the best reason, but let's say you do. There's still a bunch of Asian athletes that you could have put but, on. But, uh, you know, the Japanese, they're winning in judo, and judo is from the East. It's not, uh, you know, a Western sport. Yeah. You, you can argue, yeah, I do think, obviously, a lot of the Eastern people won at the Eastern sports. Uh, 
Korea won gold at Taekwondo, but maybe they're like, ah, oh, it's not from where we're from, you know? I mean, they could have put the gymnast from Philippines, Yulo, on there. They still didn't be. I mean, right, he was, right, he was right. actually a, a main guy. Andrew, they put Ray Gun from Australia, the girl who's, like, getting sued right now for, like, ruining Australian breakdancing. Uh, uh, okay, to be fair, Ray Gun, as bad as that performance was, it was very memorable. But so was Joe Do. Yi Chin, the, the the gymnast, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Hey, the toe taps, the toe taps were hilarious. Oh man, this is hip hop. Okay, um, it was it was. Everybody's gonna remember that. I get it. Point number four, yeah, everybody's saying no Jung Chin Wei, the girl who won gold in tennis, but they put the guy uh, uh, Drobovic yeah. from who's Serbian who won. Sure, I mean, yeah, you could argue he's a bigger star. This girl's young, but I think it's really a political thing that. They could not put any athletes from China, but then they didn't put any athletes from Asia, which is crazy. But that we did not want to put uh, anybody even resembling the Chinese in appearance. Uh, point number five, someone just said, listen, that is because Asia is viewed as a threat to displacing white people at the top of the global hierarchy. And yeah, that is why it is. Basically saying the fear of yellow peril. Which I'm trying to like, first of all, I'm, I'm not... Uh, I think it's debatable how true that is, but I do think that Asians, especially in a lot of Olympic sports, are gaining. And I think that there's this perception that, okay, black people are super athletic, so they're going to be really good at sports. So we've already accepted them as like the people who are good at sports. So we're okay with them. But then if the Asians are good at sports too, what's happening? That's we like can't... my accountant uh, or my quant at yeah. my financial firm becoming the CEO. Yeah, what, you want the engineers to start being good at sports too? That's weird. We're not going to acknowledge that. Right, right, That's what right. it feels yeah, like. because I think that there is some, tr to, to be honest, and, and this wasn't from an internet comment, I do think that white people feel like they're like the most balanced. So they're the ones that are like kind of good at everything and other races are just like only good at a few things. Right, but now I guess in their fear, their fear is that, what, the Asians are also balanced? They have like some smart people and some good athletes too? Ah! Um, it's about time for Asia to respond in kind and remove any depictions of non-Asians in their media, unless they are negative or unflattering like they do to us. That's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I think... I'd like to see the poster that had all the Asians on it. Like, why? Who's who's making the poster for Asia? Is there a Asia Sport magazine that's gonna do their poster? Right. Like, I don't want to only look to the Western publications for our validation. I think we're at this point where Asians and even Asian Americans. There's probably, dude, you could probably. What if they just went on Fiverr and got this poster done? Yo, what if that's the reason why? Is like you mean some intern was supposed to do it, but he went out to party and then just outsourced it. And, and then like, he told like some person on Fiverr that was like, "Hey, can you find us the top fifty athletes of the Olympics and put it on a poster and Photoshop it?" And then the and the person, the Fiverr person from overseas, like got it done. And then they're like, "All right, we'll post it." Right? You know what I mean? Honestly, like, it's completely plausible. <laughs> Like it wouldn't shock me, you know. Yeah, well, where is let's let's do an Asian one. Like I I don't I don't know if I have the time to do it. Someone needs to do it. I'll repost it. Yeah, and we should make it look even better and cooler. Yeah. Um honestly, like I said, my major takeaway is it it, it doesn't shock me to your point. Like I don't think Asia I think we should like take note of this and we should be like I, I think it speaks to a lot of like larger macro factors depending on how much you want to read into it obviously some people are going to read into it a lot more some people are going to read into it a lot less but I, I i think we shouldn't be like offended because i didn't even know what eurosport was but it, it is reflective of eurosport's mentality yeah you know what i agree that eurosport is not like the defining publication like who even like as an american we didn't even know what that was right so like why are you going to get mad about something that you didn't even know existed until now but it is symbolic as you said of a lot of the mindset out there and you know as uh, i've heard multiple stories of again and we've kind of talked about this on the channel but maybe we haven't talked about it in a while of like uh maybe racism in western europe for against Asians versus racism in America. It is different. I think that uh, racism in America, sometimes it, it gets a little bit more violent and brutal, but uh, there is quite a bit of, I guess, small time racism out I there. I always want to say they're more okay with saying out their microaggressions in Europe, but they're less likely to escalate microaggressions to hardcore violence. 
Maybe I. But I, I think, think they're more like they're almost more like middle schoolers. You know, they're like you know the Asians. They're like weird nerds. They don't do drugs. They are not living life. They do not uh, study the humanities. Of course, they're going to be good. They'll be fine. Don't put them on the poster. They don't. They're well, not you know, iconic. they're not iconic. Like, I'll tell you this: the Asians don't do drugs except for when they're doping, doping for swimming. That's when they do the drugs. Yeah, I, I think that that's the general perception in America and Europe of Asians a little bit. Like we're like those uncool, like overachiever kids and like a, in a public school that like win all the awards, right. but like aren't the popular kids. And I just think that some Asians, we do buy into that feeling too, but then other people, it's sure we should double down on the things that make us successful and the patterns that make us successful and switch up the patterns that make us not as successful. And I don't know if, I guess not feeling iconic enough to the Western eye, is that something we got to pay attention to? Yes and no, right? Like, I wouldn't say we... I, I view it as like a third tier yeah. uh, concern. Yeah, I guess it just reminds people that we're going to be underrated. Even if we are high achievers or kind of cool, we're going to lose points. So you're always going to be underrated on how cool you are. You know, you have to be 10 out of 10 cool to get recognition as a 7 out of 10 cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it feels like that as an Asian. And yes, there of course, there are political tensions and economic tensions with Asia that totally factors into it for sure. And that's not fully going hey, away anytime soon. Shout out to Tommy Chin, man. Tommy Chin had the best math score in my entire middle school. I was up there too, but I wasn't a top like him. And I remember everybody at one time I was hanging out with a bunch of my friends, mixed race, but then I had a white friend and he was always like, dude, he has no life, man. He's not cool. And that was what he immediately said after I said, man, his math scores are like crushing everybody's. And I always remember that like, Damn, he couldn't like, just why, let like, him have you, it. Yeah, like, why'd you need to say that? Like, it was true, though. Yeah, like, in a sense. But, like, right, but the way, the tone that he said it Yeah, was, and the was, quickness that he fired it off, man. It always stuck, stuck me. I was like, like right, why, why writing was it off. That? Well, dude, these, um, these Asian Olympians, they don't matter. I mean, what, they have no life. Like, these, like you're just going to say Asians have no life for everything that's ever achieved. Oh, yeah, like, wow, like, Asians make up this amount percentage at Harvard admissions. Yeah, but they have no and life. You know what they always say? They're always like, yeah, because their parents will kill them if they don't, like, literally throw them off a cliff. And their other government's going to throw them off a cliff or they're going to commit suicide because they're under so much pressure. And I'm like, yeah, it's, I see what they're insinuating because it is, it is a more pressurized environment over there, but it, that's not the case either. You know what I mean? I'm like, a win is a win. Anyways, guys, uh, let us know what you think about this. You know, again... No need to get too emotional about Eurosport, whatever is that. I'm going to stop saying the name, and I'm, it doesn't matter to me what they do. But it is notable because it's symbolic of a mindset. And just so you know, moving forward, this is something that we're going to have to deal with. Everybody's so. got to do drugs, man, in the future because the white kids, we grow up partying a lot and doing a lot of drugs. So if you guys aren't doing drugs, that's almost an unfair advantage. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm going to hop out, boys. We out. Peace. Peace.